Hello and welcome to another Entsvena episode everyone. This time we shall grant our attention to one of the most exciting yet due to its commonness underrated and species out there. Yes, this talk will be about Lazius Niger. In case you don't remember, this is our Lazius Niger colony one year ago. And this is the same colony today. Amazing, isn't it? So what did I do? The answer is nothing. They did Lazius Niger things. <laughs> Apart from giving them this formicarium to live in and taking proper care of them by feeding and hydrating them regularly, I didn't do that much. Well, not exactly. This is the colony that assisted me in the most tryouts. Trying new things to eat, ranging from different honey types to different insects, at first dead and then after a period even live ones, especially little spiders. Trying different temperatures and studying brood development. Letting them dry for long periods of time to watch how they behave in a pinch and much, much more. Yet, I didn't manage to kill them so far. Other ant species would have died long ago given the same circumstances. But they kept going on and thrived, managing to capture not only my interest but also my heart as an ant keeper. For this, we shall finally open the gate, which leads to the other half of this little formicarium. This is much needed since larvae started being stockpiled a long time ago. Let's see their first reactions, shall we? Almost instantly, the first workers got in and explored the new terrain. Overnight, a part of the colony, as well as Her Majesty herself, relocated themselves. And, I am sure, they will be moving eggs, larvae and pupae to the new chambers soon too. This is my last gift to them before we put them into hibernation by the end of the month. Similar to other species native to Central Europe, Lazarus Niger hibernate between October and March. This is when temperature drops and winter comes to the land, thus making foraging for food nigh impossible since the ground freezes and the vegetation nourishing prey insects is covered in snow. During this period, you should keep your colony in a dark place with an average temperature of 8 degrees Celsius. While feeding them is not required, hydrating them is crucial to their survival. So don't forget that. This was a little update on our Lazius Niger colony. I love how they are always active and on the move. And even if bigger insects appear in their setup, 
they do not hesitate to defend their ground or even prey on them. A fascinating, yet massively underrated species to keep, in my opinion at least. Have you kept Leusius niger yourself? What did you like about them? Or even, what was the deal breaker for you? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, leave me a like if you liked the video, or don't if you didn't. Hibernation period gives us ant keepers the spare time to do other things besides feeding our ants. I personally will make use of it by creating a few new formicaria for the next ant season. So subscribe to the channel with a bell icon if you don't want to miss out on those build videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!